look at it uh, deeper, it was easier to, and, and I was able to understand clearly. Okay. So now you are a bit confident in attending the question, right? Or yeah. attempting the question. Okay. So do on yourself solve all the question paper, either exemplar or exercise. Mm -hmm. You solve all questions. Yeah. Okay. So you you solve that in the proper register. Okay. Okay. Solve in the proper register. Uh, question wise, first try to attempt all the numeric uh, examples. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Each and every chapter. First, you solve all the examples. Okay. After that, make all the exercise question one by one. Okay, sir. And try to read the lines between one theorem to another theorem or one concept to another concept. Don't skip the statements as well, right? Yeah. As we read English, we read each and every sentence, sentences, right? Yeah. But we when read mathematics, we only read the question or examples, but we never read the lines in between. Okay. So okay. you do that always again. Okay. So your mama was saying that uh, uh, motion will be, uh, there will be questions from motion chapter, right? It won't come for exam, but um, our teacher did a quick revision, like kind of surprised us and asked us some yeah. questions. So how was your response and class response? Uh, it was, uh, most of the questions were easier, but mm -hmm. some of them had very big difficulty in it. Uh, like, do you remember any question? Uh, questions like, for example, they said like a bullet of weight 10 gram was awesome. yeah bullet of weight some and some it was being heated it was a shoot it was shoot they shoot the bullet in one sandbag which was um, at the speed of... yeah um i can't remember one minute I, I got i got i got your questions oh yeah i got the question here so do you want it ah uh, yeah so the question was a bullet of 10 10 gram strikes a sandbag at speed of 10 10 to the power of 3 meter per second and gets embe embedded after traveling 5 centimeter. Calculate resistive force exerted by the sand on the bullet as well as the time taken by the bullet to come to rest. Okay, so you don't think we solved such question? No, it was uh, difficult for me to understand that. Okay. So I will give you hint. I think we solve such question. I think I, think. I, I know uh, which formula to use, but then I didn't understand how to substitute that one with the formula. Okay. So question is like that. Okay. Uh, I'm writing over here. Okay. You are sound is audible. I'm yeah. audible. Okay. So as you say is that. This is the sandbag, right? Okay. This is sandbag. And this bullet is being fired, right? Yeah. This having some mass M. This is initial velocity, VI. So when it will come inside, there will be some resistance from the sand, right? Yeah. So what will happen uh, as it will enter from the surface, the velocity will start to decrease. The final velocity will be zero, right? V final yeah. will be zero. We know the mass, okay? We know the initial and final velocity. So 
we can calculate the force. F is what? M V2 minus V1 that we yeah, are V final minus V initial V initial or divided by time. So first question was to ask the force, right? Yeah. Time was given? No. Time was not given. Then yeah. Huh? S is equal to ut plus half of how much distance it's covered? Uh, distance covered was 5 centimeter. Okay. So this is the initial velocity? Yeah, I uh, came this part and then I got confused. Okay. So initial velocity we have and distance we have. And we don't have acceleration as well. Hmm. Then we may V as well, uh, U square minus is equal to AS. From here, we can find S. V square will be zero. U square, we have something by 2A. We don't have acceleration as well, right? Yeah, we don't have. We uh, have, we, but we have speed, sir. Okay, so we have five, uh, actually, Unless until I won't see the question. So we have velocity. What is the velocity? A velocity is V. See, I didn't understand this question actually. So I'm trying. Oh, will, you, will, you, will you send me in the chat? I no, I don't have it. I, I memorized the question. Uh, so, so you only memorize the question. Let me give me some seconds. So there may be some question uh, I have to see, right? Hmm. Hmm. In question, I got one different So um, uh, will you come next day by uh, just write, the, get copy the question, okay? Because unless until we won't get the right words, na, right sentence. Yeah, that's a problem, sir, because she like wrote it on the board and then she rubbed it. I didn't get, she didn't give us time to write it down. Uh, I'm trying to find the question, but. Ma, sir, I think she, she made the question on her own, Ma, sir. Oh. Mm, see. So she intentionally made some tough question or some other reason? No, she actually, the thing was that she made questions related to the chapter law for laws of motion, force and laws of motion. But then mm -hmm. she forgot that the test was supposed to be related to motion. So she had to quickly change it up. Oh, uh, this, the question that is being asked now. Nah? 
that's include the concept of momentum as well yeah that's the thing so that's why she she changed it oh so we don't have to worry about that but i'm sure i'm sure i'm sure i'm sure we will find some question and we will try to solve it see okay okay i got i think uh is this question visible to you yeah but the numbers are uh, the speed is a bit different no actually yeah it's the exact same yeah it's the same yeah oh my gosh it's the exact same a bullet of 10 kg strike a sand bag at a steep speed of 1000 meter per second gets embedded yeah. after traveling 5 cm Yeah, the teacher instead of thousand, she wrote ten into to to the power of three. Ah, oh. so she she is a smarter enough, na? Yeah, she is, but that's why the problem. She's too smart that just she she makes sure that the 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 students have uh, get like it's very tricky for the students to answer. Oh, so see what the information we are with. what information we have we have the mass of the bullet the speed of the bullet and the how much distance it traveled so we have mass so first of all we will be writing all the information we have mass 10 g so basically we have to change Ten gram will be how much kg? Ten into. We have ten to change. Ah. One. So change in ten kilogram. Ten. Divided by thousand, right? Divided by thousand. This will be kilogram, right? So yeah. basically, we are left with ten to the power minus two kilogram, right? Then we have a speed. This is the initial speed in the motion. This is thousand meter per second, right? And we have distance five centimeter, right? Calculate the calculate the resistive force exerted by the sand. So first of all, we have to find the retardation. We are delay delay retardation or d acceleration, right? Yes, sir. D acceleration. So finally, we have to ask first. We will be calculating acceleration, right? Yes, sir. So how we will proceed? If we could use, if we could use the formula, uh, S is equal to uh, U T plus half A T square. Now write all the formula. S is equal to U T plus half of A T square. So we we know this. We know this. We don't know the acceleration. We don't know the time, right? Yeah. So this is not useful. Clear? Okay. So now we tell some another formula. Mm hmm. Two, uh, two, two. Two as is equal to v square plus v square. V square minus u square. Right? Is, but still, but we don't have acceleration. What I what I said. 
by reading the question, we have to calculate the resistive force. And to calculate the resistive force, we need acceleration. That force is always mass into acceleration. So indirectly, we are being asked to calculate the acceleration first, right? Hmm. If we succeeded in calculating the acceleration, we are done with the problem. Clear? So now tell me whether this formula is uh, applicable or useful over here or not. I decided for first now. You, you have to decide for the second. Yeah, it is. So go ahead. So you have all the informations. Okay. Do you have all the informations? Uh, yeah. we know, do you know S? Yes, we know S. We know initial velocity, yes. Do we know the final velocity? That is finally, it gets embedded after traveling five centimeters. So it means that V final is zero, right? But so how is initial velocity related to the speed? A speed and velocity is what? A speed and velocity is different. Do you think so? Well, I didn't understand because speed is and how. What do we mean by speed? Speed is the distance over time. What about the uh, velocity? Displacement over time. Distance and displacement is in the same in the one di in the one dimension. Now it is yeah. the bullet is going in a straight way. This is the oh, one dimension. Okay. See, this is the one dimension. This is the one dimension. Okay. Bullet is going straight. When you will fire the bullet now, that's not possible that bullet will go like this or bullet will go like this. Okay. Bullet okay. will go straight. Okay. It won't change its direction. If hmm. direction is not being changed, then displacement is nothing. Sorry. Displacement is nothing but distance. And then velocity and speed is the same. Got the point? Yes, sir. Now, all the best. So I'll calculate the acceleration. Okay. Hmm. 
Any progress? No, sir, I'm still doing. You understand the question? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just calculating. Completely? Okay, yeah. you are in the calculation, it's no problem. How much acceleration you got? It's, uh, I, uh, I got the acceleration as a one zero 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 minus one zero 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 meter per second square. Achha, like that. But yeah. I don't, I'm not aware. So I will do it. I'm, we are using the, relation to this one relation okay yeah, yeah that one yeah so that solution is uh this is a is equal to nothing but v square is still zero then u square what is the value of u what is the value of u it is like oh, this much number right. square by two two into s s this is five centimeter. Then we have to change this centimeter into the meter. Five centimeter will be five into 10 to the power minus two right meter. Got this trans, uh, conversion five into 10 raised to the power minus two. Yeah. You did this like this? Uh, no, I, actually I did was I converted the centimeter into meter. How oh, then one how much? Did you get this conversion or not? Which one? The five into one ten. centimeter is how much meter? Zero point zero five meter. No, dear one centimeter is and ten to the minus two meter. Or uh, inversely, one meter is 100 centimeter, right? So this is the trans, uh, translation or uh, transformation, right? So now this will be 10 raised to the power six, right? Yeah. I hear two into five and this will go up a stair and it will make it as right two, right? So the two into five, this two into five will be 10. 2 into 5 will be 10. And then add this 1 again, this will make it 3. 
Did you get the point? Hmm. So it will be 10 to the power 9. Oh my gosh. That's why she deleted the question. This will be meter per second square. Meter per second square, right? Yeah. Okay. Once we got the what acceleration, we will be calculating the force. Force will be what? Mass is 10 gram. Again, mass, you have to... mass into acceleration. Yeah. So mass is 10 gram, then it will be how much? 10 to the power minus 2 kg. Right. Yeah. And multiplied by uh, 10 to the power 9. My God. So it will be like 10 to the power 7. It will be like 10 to the power 7. It's too much. So once we got the force, okay, now the part B. Did you get the calculation? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, I was the, the first, I got the same answer, but I did it in a different way. We both are different. So our approach could be different. Okay. Yeah, the, but the way you did, did the way you did, you have to show me, or do you have to show any the people who have who have more knowledge than you, a more knowledgeable one. So you uh, maybe if you are committing any mistake, it will be corrected, right? Yeah. Mm. So okay. maybe sometimes, sometimes you will do in the same way, but answer will be wrong. So once I was taking the class and that question was from radioactivity. So answer was like two to the power two. Like, so this is also for what the student did. She did like two into two. So it is also for, so answer is same, but the concept is totally wrong, right? Oh, okay. Okay, so she told me it's answer four. I said, okay. But when I asked her to show me the, uh, calculation it was like this so i said no 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 that's not possible got the difference so yeah. maybe in your case god knows the process maybe i got it wrong but the answer got same yeah so now how you will do the second part second part um time taken by Oh. We can use V is equal to U plus AT. Are you telling me or you are asking me? Uh, we can we we could we could use the V is equal to U eight plus AT. Now you tell me whether we can use it or not. You have clear yeah. idea. Ah, so yeah, we can use it. You, we can. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so what is the value of V in our case? V here is uh, zero. Yes, good. What about you? That's given, right? Thousand. Meter. That's already given. What about A? We already calculated, right? Yeah, 10 uh, and, power seven. And then T, we have to calculate, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. So, substitute it and solve.
Oh, any progress? It's all in. It's one of the rest. Well, I got the answer. So it's all in the same way? U over A? Uh, yeah, no, T is equal to U by A. U by A, yeah, right. <clears throat> so you got the T positive or negative? Uh, the po positive. You got well, how you got the T positive? Because I were I put the acceleration, sorry, the the initial velocity with the acceleration, so it became positive. So see, uh, I could have written in the first time, but I didn't. This is zero. This is u is given and ten to the power three meter per second, and we got acceleration as ten. 10 to the power 9, right? In minus, into T. Okay? Yeah. So, we can do it like, uh, so, if we will do it, then 10 to the power 3 meter per second will be this side. It will become minus, and then it will here, 10 to the power 9 into T, right? So, when this positive will come this side, it will be negative, and then when this is already negative, so this negative will get out, get cancelled, okay? Oh, okay. okay. So the T will be 10 to the power 3 divided by 10 to the power 9. So it is like 10 to the power minus 6. Very small quantity. This second, right? Yes. So this was the procedure to do the problem. Okay. Okay, so I understood now. You understand them? Yeah, it was just difficult for me to understand since the question was totally different from what I studied from the chapter. Right, right, right. Actually, problem with this number is that they are first of uh, first of all that numbers are given in the large dimensions okay large quantities uh mm. like, like that thousand meter per second instead of sorry thousand meter per second instead of writing in the meter per second uh, the what can i say the question uh, who generated this question they if they wanna uh, know the concept of the student there is no need to put this large number okay just a mm. small number can do the work okay so I okay. think this was just to confuse the student. Yeah. So if you want to check the concept level, there's no need to put that number in the very huge amounts, right? Hmm. So now you understand the concept and procedure? Yeah. So we solve this question in two different ways. Sorry, in two steps, not in two different ways. Okay. So how the part A and part B are two separate part, okay? Hmm. Instead of the sandbag, uh, the question will be like, you have fired a bullet, right? Yeah. Instead of that bullet, and then in the street of sandbag, there might be some wooden box. And okay. that bullet will go inside some five centimeter, na? That's five centimeter mm -hmm. inside. Then you will be asked to calculate the time, how much time it uh, taken to come to the rest. Okay. Instead okay. of asking, instead of asking part A. 
the question, examiner will ask only the part C. If, sorry, part B. If part B is being asked, first you have to calculate the first part one. Even it is not being asked, then again you have to calculate all the part one. And then you have to proceed for the part second. Mm -hmm. And okay. this here, this such type of question, it is similar to applying the brakes. What happens when we apply the brakes? A moving car will moving car will first if we are applying brake over here. Some acceleration so will be produced on uh, it. Acceleration, and... acceleration will be decreased, started decreasing, right? Yeah. So like that, then. It will be like that, and then it will reach the zero. Hmm. So in the same, if you are being asked that you are applying a brake on a car of some mass, right? In a speed yeah. of this, you may be some given this, and then a speed of this, you may be given the some another speed. And yeah. it is being said that uh, as you apply the brake, you march or you move five centimeters, okay? And finally, you come to rest. Then how much time you uh, taken to become at the rest position or your final velocity gets zero, right? So yeah, that only the uh, word will be changing, but the concept will be remaining same. Got the point? Yes, sir. So instead of bullet, you will make it the car, train, or something. There will be brake application and then the retardation will come into the picture and you will be asked to solve the problems for time or acceleration or force or power as well. How much power or something that's totally different and number of things could be asked. Okay, that's why we say that physics is really uh, tough. Uh, yeah, uh, in, yeah in our teachers as a nine grade have to focus really on physics. Yeah, so you they you take a here it is bullet it may come as a car instead of time you know acceleration okay you know force then you know the velocity as well then it will be asked to calculate the energy energy lost okay hmm. if you will apply the brake energy will lost now yeah they lost in energy so they might ask loss in energy okay if some the problem may be changing like that uh, you are you are uh, driving the car all of a sudden you feel that there is some broken roads or sands okay now you step over the sands so it says that sands is like as it is that it is stopping the motion of your car so it is being said that finally your car is getting stopped so how much sand is working over you Got the point? Okay. Yes. How much work is being done by sand? So if you know the energy, energy is nothing but the work done. Yeah. So there, there could be a number of ways of, uh, to ask this question. Clear? Yes, sir. We took almost 50 minutes to solve this question. Did this now the, the quantity of time we consume, the concept is clear or not? Yeah. And it's any concept. doubt? No, sir. Okay, so what another other things she asked? Other things I don't have any doubt. There's only one last question which I had doubt related mm -hmm. to the circular motion. Uh, do, do circular motion. So what was the question about circuit, circular uh, motion on the circle? Uh, circular I don't motion. have correct one, but it was something uh, a particle moves in a circle where the center is O and o, AO is equal to OB, which is equal to uh, five centimeters, I think, yeah. And what is OA and OB? Uh, I don't know. Like there's two points in the circle, like she showed one diagram. So uh, one at one point at the end is written A, like they, they do drew a diameter from the center one of the point is A, one of the po other point is B, and half of it, the radius is five centimeter. So, so it's, uh, then they asked to calculate the distance covered if uh, you start from A and reach to B. And the other question was displacement when it reaches to B. 
So what's the problem? You know the definition between uh, distance, uh, difference between speed, sorry, uh, distance and displacement, you know, na? Yeah, but circular motion, we didn't uh, learn that much in school, so it was very confusing for me. So if you start on a circular track, okay, from this point, and you take complete round, okay, so how much distance you covered if radius is r? This is radius, so how you will find the distance? Distance. I'm not asking, I'm asking the distance. Okay, you started from A or you completed a complete circle. Hmm. Then how much distance you covered? How we will calculate this? Um, hmm. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Okay, now I'm transforming the, this question. Uh, 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 oh, oh. This is a rectangular or circular track. Okay, you started from here, point A, and covering all those points, you are again back to A. Through A, B, C, D. Or again, again back to A, right? So how much distance you covered? Suppose this is uh, five unit. This is five unit. This is five unit. This is five unit. How much distance you covered? Um, five plus five plus five plus five. Uh, so distance will be? 20. 20, right? And this 20 is nothing but a perimeter of P E R I M E. Oh, perimeter of rectangle or a square rectangle, right? Yeah. So perimeter is 4 into side, 4 into A. Yeah, 4 into side, right? Yeah. Now, now again back to this question now apply your dimag now apply your dimag here you have a keyword perimeter i written the wrong spelling of perimeter so we do five, so we do five plus five we do five plus five plus how we find the perimeter of rectangle? We add all the sides of the rectangle. That's 5 plus 5 plus 5. That's nothing but 4 into A if side is A, right? Yeah. Wow. A, A plus A plus A plus A four times. So it is 4A. So this is the perimeter, nothing else. Uh, yeah. Now, instead of this uh, rectangle or circle, or, uh, sorry, rectangle, uh, a square whatever it is we have transformed it into a circle right so oh, how much oh, distance it'll be, it'll be two pi r will be how you got this because i forgot the, <laughs> i remember two pi r the equation how we find the area of the circle. the area of circle right yeah I'm also teaching the mathematics and physics, okay? So, yeah. I know how the way how to uh, how to drag you to the point or to the concept from another examples or something. So, so yeah. now, you, now you got the concept? Mm -hmm. Now, how you will solve it? So, it will be 2 into 3 into into five five was the radius for your case that original example or uh, for yeah. example if i say it is five right this is hmm. five this is will be the incomplete one rotation right yeah incomplete one rotation you will get two into 3.14 into five but if when it is asked from a to b only then 
a to b only then so then we divided by 2 so it will be right pi r right hmm so you got the answer for your question yes sir what this is the distance right hmm so yeah and what will be the displacement then, uh, displacement uh, I, I, are they asking that we already reached to point B and they're asking the displacement? See, if we are covering this distance now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If we are going around like this. Okay, so this is the distance. That yeah. is phi r, right? But okay. when it is being asked the displacement, this, this will be like from this point to this point only. So the distance between these two points is what? Oh, it'll be 10. Matlab? It is equal yeah. to the diameter, right? 5 plus 5. Yeah, okay. So it means that, it means that you are not eating proper uh, diet. Okay. Huh? It means that you are not working on your mind. No, this chapter was very difficult for me. Uh, Chapter was difficult, so you know, problem. So now it is a bit helpful. Yeah, this was very helpful, sir. Okay. So actually, we were aware of all these concepts. You were aware of all these concepts. Only the difficulty that you failed to apply the concept, right? Yeah, I didn't understand how to use the formula for like what ma'am ma gave, I didn't really understand how to find it. Okay. So when you came back from the school, did you try I, to... I looked immediately in the reader and tried to understand the questions related to that and tried to answer it myself at home, but I was still having difficulty. That's why I want to ask you. Okay, no problem. Keep on trying. Okay, keep on asking. Hmm. Keep on asking. No problem. Okay. Any anything else? No, sir. I other questions I understood. Okay, okay, okay. So from next, maybe uh, actually I'm back to my native village, okay. Oh, okay. For a week. I'll be back. I will be back there in Delhi for on 23rd, I think. Hope so. Hmm. That's the thing. Nothing else. Oh, okay. So now you're not in Delhi, sir? Yes, yes. I'm not in Delhi. So you're uh, now where, sir? Mm, in North India. I'm in Bihar. I oh. have to attend a paper tomorrow. That's why I came over here. Oh, okay. Paper for what, sir? Uh, paper for uh, plus two college teacher. Oh, you're going to uh, try to get a job no, application in a college? No, no, no. I'm writing the exams. That's it. Oh, okay. After well, then... the exams, maybe. Hmm. Okay. So that's... Well, okay, so thank you. Okay, no problem. Every... Yeah. You got everything from today's class? Yes, sir. Any doubts? No, sir. Everything clear? Mm-hmm.